hello there i hope you are doing good welcome to another video today we are going to solve make my trips ht2 front end interview question they have asked a curing question curing is a common interview question that you can expect in the front end interviews it is based on the closure and we see multiple variations of this on the platform itself we have four different variations so including this now it becomes five and this was asked in make my trips interview on september 3 2025 so this is a fairly recent interview question and if you see the number of questions they have asked first one is to flatten an array without recursion we have it on our platform second is promise all sync without a sync await these two we have on our, our platform third is auto suggestion so the search should trigger when the user have typed minimum three characters these two we have on our platform then the machine coding round where we have to you know add a or create a new progress bar so we have this question already it's been added since last two years animate elements in sequence and then minimal five explorer ui i have already solved this i'll be adding this question today and then this is the curry sum that I will be solving and then we have pagination pagination is already available this requires some variation so i'll add this variation and i'll try to solve this also so i think whatever is asked over here is already available on the course so if you are preparing for your front end interviews do check out my course coming back to the question let's try to solve this so if you see the problem statement we have to create this generate some function first that will take limit for and this generate some will return a function sum now this sum will accept any number of arguments once the number of arguments has reached to the limit for and if it has reached to the limit or it is exceeding in that case we have to do the sum of all the arguments that it has received till date uh, but the number of arguments should not exceed the limit that we have so 1 2 3 4 gives us 10 but this same thing can be written like this so we can have a single invocation with multiple arguments so here what happens is we are passing five arguments to the function but the limit is set as 4 so it should calculate the sum till the 4, four arguments only 1, 2 and 3 and 4 that will give us 10 and it should ignore the 5 in this case otherwise let's say if it is passing single single arguments then the sum function should return another function that will keep on accepting the arguments till we have reached to the limit once we have reached to the limit it should return the value so here if you see for this for invocation it is returning a value 10 rather than another function so keeping that in mind we have to implement this generate some function and we have to handle the edge case where in any of the invocation it can accept different arguments different count of arguments so we have to make sure that we are only doing the sum of the specified limit that it uh, accepts while creating the generate sum so let's solve this let me remove this we'll create the generate sum function const generate sum this will take the limit as input and then it will return a function so this is clear from the problem statement that it will accept the limit as input and it will return a function now here we'll return a function this function can be a helper function or inner function you name it however you want i'll name it as helper function so return helper let me define helper and then we'll return it and then it will accept any number of arguments that's why i'm using the rest operator to collect it as an array and this is our function definition and then at the end we'll return the helper so we created a function and then we'll return it because this upper function is returning an inner function this inner function will have access to the upper functions argument 
and this is what the concept of closure is where the inner function can access the variables the arguments of the parent function forming a closure so this helper function even after it's being written from the generate sum it will have the access to this limit and it can use it now we'll have to add two checks one check is if the arguments dot length is greater than or equal to limit which means we have reached our threshold so we have to do calculation over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take take allowed args list and that is by splicing or slicing the arguments array to the specified limit and then we are going to return it sum so allowed args equals to sorry allowed args dot reduce and then it will return the sum of the array elements otherwise what we have to do is if the limit is not reached then we have to return a function again so that it can accept the arguments so we'll do the same we'll create a temporary function this will again accept any number of arguments args2 and then what we'll do is rather than storing this args by creating a variable over here what we'll do is we'll simply recursively call this helper function so we'll return recursively call this helper function with combined arguments so it will have the previous arguments as well as the new arguments and this will be passed to this helper function again once helper is invoked it will do the basic check otherwise it will go to else if the limit is increasing it will do the sum of the arguments otherwise it will again return the same temporary function so from the else part we have to return the temp and this will keep on doing it until and unless it has reached to the limit now here is another edge case if the limit is zero so if limit was equal to zero then you have to return zero because there is no sum you can return null zero anything you want this is the base condition now this is how we have created the generate sum now let's test this by copying all the examples let me copy this and then this is the generate sum let me paste it over here and let's see if it is working fine or not so it should return us the first one should return us 10 the second one 7 third one 7 even though the third one is getting um, more arguments than the limit specified but it should only do the sum of the first two arguments or the number of arguments in the specified limit so let's run this and let's see we got 10 7 and 7 so our implementation is working fine let's do one check let's add zero over here and let's see what happens i think this will throw error because sum three is returning zero so invoking it again will throw us error let's see so see we got error because sum three first invocation itself has written zero now if i remove this and if i run this again we should get zero as output so sum3 again it is returning error sum3 is not a function okay so here itself it has written value let's add this check within the helper function then so that this is invoked on the invocation now let's run this so we got 10 7 and 0 so things are working fine now there is another variation to this and this is what i have solved in the fourth variation so here you can see that rather than accepting the limit it is accepting a function that is because here this function is too tightly coupled to just perform the sum operations where it is doing the sum operation of the arguments 
but we want our curry to be a variation where it can do any type of operations and that operation is basically from the callback function so i'll show you how you can implement the same thing with just minor tweak so let me copy this function sum we'll have this function sum over here and now rather than accepting the limit it will accept this sum function as argument this generate sum so here from the example you can see that the current sum let me copy this this is how it looks so this becomes current sum now if you change this to product this will become current product so i'll show you that it will take the function as argument and then it will return the function and this should do the processing and return the value once they have reached to the number of arguments that this function is accepting so how do you solve this is you change this limit and you make this as function and now you add a check like if function dot length so if you use dot length property on the function it provides you the count of argument that this function is accepting so if it is not accepting any arguments which is zero then it will return zero you can return any value and then here also we'll add a check if function dot length is greater than or equal to limit then we don't have to splice that is because we can pass the argument as it is to this callback function and it will use or utilize the argument that it needs and it can ignore the rest so rather than splicing we'll just remove that value and then we don't have to do any of this operation we'll just call the functions and we'll spread the arguments and now this will accept the number of arguments it will pass to the sum and then it will do the processing now if i run this we should get 10 10 10 as output let's see okay this is not curry this is generate let me call this as generate rather than generate sum and then run this a function dot length this is arc dot length is greater than or equals to function dot length run this again my bad on the conditioning we got 10 10 and 10 so it has utilized the first four arguments and ignored the rest and return us the value now this has become sum what if i just change it to product or do any type of operations i want so this becomes my wrapper function and this callback in in this callback i can do any type of operation that i want so now from the sum it has become a product here i am doing the multiplication so we should get 1, 2, 6 and 24 as output. Let's see. So we got 24, 24 and 24. So that is how the curring works. You should be practicing it more. It is a really good concept to master because this is used a lot in the day to day programming. And if you are very well versed with this, you will become a good programmer and will be able to solve lots of problems. I hope you have learned something new today and if you have enjoyed the video and if you are preparing for your interviews do check out my course. I see you in the next video. Thank you.